photo going around uh, on the internet of you and Tobey Maguire on the set of Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, the new Spider-Man movie. And, uh, and, and I was like, wow. I'm that... not sure about that. We are. We're pretty sure. We're pretty sure about it. So we know what's up. Do you know what's up? Are... <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU, and of course, Spider-Man No Way Home. And today, we have a lot to talk about, as Andrew Garfield went on Jimmy Fallon last night, and Jimmy Fallon did ask him about his involvement in Spider-Man No Way Home. And he even brought up those leaked photos that we've been talking about for a few weeks now. Now, I think everybody, for the most part, has seen these photos by now. If you haven't, I am going to briefly show one in this video. I'm only going to show it to prove a point and only for a split second, but I will show it later on in this video. But we do have a lot to address. He did comment on the photo, and recently he also commented on the Sinister Six. And I know a lot of people have a lot of questions about what he said on Jimmy Fallon. Yes, I saw the tweets. Yes, I got your tags on Instagram. I'll explain everything you need to know, and we'll also have a pretty good laugh because Andrew himself and Jimmy Fallon are having a pretty good laugh as well. And if you're new, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest MCU or Spider-Man videos. So I played a clip in the beginning, and let's start with this because it's just hilarious to me. Photo going around uh, on the internet of you and Tobey Maguire on the set of Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, the new Spider-Man movie. And, uh, and, and I was like, wow. I'm not that sure about that. We are. We're pretty sure. We're pretty sure about it, so we know what's up. Do you know what's up? Are... <laughs> So notice how Andrew Garfield just immediately burst into laughter. And I think that the best part is, is that he's not even denying the photo. He is simply trying to play dumb, but he doesn't flat out deny it. Jimmy asks him about a photo of him and Tobey Maguire and he says, I'm not sure about that. But Jimmy Fallon says, well, we are, and we've seen it. And then Andrew just immediately bursts into laughter, trying to keep it together. This is what he's been doing the entire time in all the interviews when he is asked about his role in Spider-Man No Way Home, if he's going to be in the movie, he just bursts into laughter. This is kind of his defense mechanism of not really having to address it. Because let me just explain something real quick, because a few people have been asking me, why doesn't he just admit that he's in the movie? Everybody clearly knows by now it's not that big of a secret. Why can't he just come out and say it? Well, even though pretty much everybody knows, he still just can't come out and say it. The studio won't let him. He signed something called an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement. It's a contract that basically says he can't say anything about the movie or his role in the movie. So keep this in mind, legally under contract, he cannot admit that he's in the movie until it has come out or until he's shown in a trailer or until the studio has given him permission to say so. Now, this is clever marketing by Sony's have because look, these guys have publicists. They're not just getting on talk shows, not knowing what they're going to talk about. They know, and this is great publicity and it's clever, except Andrew Garfield is kind of all over the place and kind of gives himself away here. Jimmy Fallon asks him if he's seen the photo in which Andrew replies in a stutter, might I add, what, what are you talking about? Photo going around uh, on the internet of you and Tobey Maguire on the set of Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, the new Spider-Man movie. And, uh, and, and I was like, wow, I'm that- not sure about that. Andrew goes on to say, well, if you show me the photo, I can tell you if it's me or if it's fake. And then Jimmy, of course, says, well, it's been erased off of the internet. The worst detective. <laughs> well, if you show me the photo, I can tell you whether it's, it's me or whether it's a real thing. It's but been erased, it's been photo. erased off the internet. Oh, how convenient, Detective <laughs> Fallon. <laughs> But get this, immediately after, after saying that he doesn't know what he's talking about, after saying that he hasn't seen the photo, he immediately flips it and says, I have seen it. And it's a Photoshop. Around and we all saw it. And uh... I heard about it. And I did see it. And it's a Photoshop. We say no. I'm trying to manage expectations. You say no. Oh, you say no. Yeah. 
after talking about how he has no idea what Jimmy Fallon is even talking about to saying that he hasn't seen the photo to saying that he has seen it and it's a Photoshop, he completely switched his story. To me, this is a pretty big giveaway that he is indeed in the movie. I think most of you know by now that I truly believe that he is indeed going to be in the movie, even though we haven't had an official confirmation, we've had pretty much every single news outlet, every insider say that he is in the movie, and leaked photos. And here's my deal with this leaked photo that you're gonna wanna know about. He claims that this leaked photo of him and Tobey Maguire is Photoshopped. And I did see it. And it's a Photoshop. Which, okay, I could believe that if we didn't have the video. The video is of the exact same scene of the leaked photo. It's the exact same scene. He is sitting in the same exact spot that we see him in the photo. Him and Toby are on some type of scaffolding and the whole background behind them is a giant blue screen. It's the same exact setting and here we can actually see him talk and we can see his whole body move. Now it requires the 4K version to see, but fortunately I have the 4k version now i'm gonna show this real quick and i'm gonna tell you what to look for and i'm only gonna show up close andrew garfield because i'm really not trying to get in trouble but at the same time andrew did say it was fake so yeah but here's why it's not fake if you look at this really quick clip it's in 4k so you can clearly see that no editing is done to his face if you look even closer at his stomach you can see his stomach moves as he talks and as he breathes you can also notice little tiny movements in his arms and his shoulders I don't see how this could be photoshopped and if it is whoever did this needs to be working at Marvel Studios at Warner Brothers somewhere running their digital effects department because seriously this is almost impossible to photoshop but take a look here real quick and again the stomach moving is the biggest giveaway and the 4k resolution of his face shows us that it's not edited so while I might have believed that this could have been a photoshopped photo because people do that kind of thing all the time I do not believe that this is a fake photo video. I believe that this video is real and the videos have been taken down from the internet. People have been posting them and the studios have been taking them down. They've been getting flagged on YouTube channels. They've been taken off of Reddit and it takes a lot to take something off of Reddit. They usually don't take things off of there, but they've been taken off of all these platforms. Why would they do that if they're fake? It just doesn't really make sense. I do believe this is just promoting here. This is marketing for No Way Home without actually him having to admit that he's in the film. And it actually is kind of smart because if we look at the fact that we all pretty much know he's going to be in the film but he keeps denying it that makes us more intrigued it makes us more invested on whether or not he actually is in the film and it brings more attention to the film until we actually do see the confirmation that Toby and Andrew are in the film it's actually quite genius now that I think about it and not to mention he was recently asked in a different interview about his third Spider-Man movie that was supposed to happen with the Sinister Six and he said that he really wanted that to happen and he thought that that would have been so cool to happen. Well, now No Way Home is basically a Sinister Six movie with the other two Spider-Man coming into play. Now, of course, there is another option. There's the fact that he might be telling the truth and he's not in the movie. And again, I've said it before, if he's not, I will be truly shocked. I think everybody is going to be truly shocked. From all the leaked photos that we've gotten from all of the insiders saying that he is going to be in the movie, from the trailer showing us Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, it's showing us a pumpkin bomb and hearing Willem Dafoe laugh in the background, from seeing Lightning and Jamie Foxx himself saying that he is returning as Electro, and the trailer showing us that they messed up the multiverse. I mean, everything is there to tell us that the other Spider-Men are coming. So if they're not in the movie, I really just will be so dumbfounded and really not know what to say. But like I said, I truly believe they are, and I think we're going to see that probably in the next trailer, hopefully. But in the meantime, let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think about Andrew Garfield's reaction to Jimmy Fallon asking him about this photo and telling him that he's in Spider-Man No Way Home. Be sure to hit the like button, and for live updates, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.